went and got my business license turned in this morning. Update on my sickness. Right now I've got a lingering cough, but my fever has been gone for over a day. So I don't think I'm contagious anymore. <clears throat> been on antibiotics for a week. So, uh, talk to the city about putting my fence in. They act like, go ahead. So we're gonna be building a fence here in the next month. I'm gonna maybe get a testament on a fence, but also thinking about hiring a neighbor kid to help me. We're gonna come off the corner of that shop right there over to the sidewalk and disappear all that stuff and be back here. And then we're gonna run all the way up through here to the to another gate up there where the drive goes across. Uh, yeah. I think I'll do it myself. After looking at the prices of fits, that'd be high enough just buying the stuff. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, uh, let's go in here and uh, work on the Husqvarna right now. It's a pretty nice day though. I already tear that fence out that I got up there. But I don't want people coming across there. I can do that in one day. And when I start putting the other one up, I'll put my one out in front up first. <coughs> I still got this cough. It sucks. So let's work on the Husqvarna. All right, here's the Husqvarna. I guess I'll clean up my exhaust a little bit and uh, I gotta clean the exhaust pipes up and I already cleaned up the work most of the head didn't I? I don't know if I did that or not. That's eh, pretty clean. This one here probably didn't have it all so it's pretty clean too. I can feel it. I could probably just bolt it on. So anyway uh Let's just bolt it together. Hell, it ain't that dirty. It is still good enough as exhaust, right? Alright, let's uh, see if I can find some bolts and bolt that baby back together. Ain't they right here? For this side's on this side. Probably need to clean up those bolts. Let me clean these up. Put some all um, these uh put some stuff on them so they don't seize and I seize. These are a little bit of a burger to get on. I'm gonna get me some man. I put some big grease on it, but that might work its way out. I'm gonna put some anti seize on it. It's got some uh anti seize has got some uh Boy Scout stuff on it. You know the stuff they put on their wheels when they're making their little car go fast. see you sometimes just need a little bit all right now let me see if I can get this started Doing it by Phil. Fill it. Oh my gosh, did you fill up? What? I got a can't see what I'm doing. <coughs> Damn cough. If you go ahead and it goes away.
Ah, you see the fucking I got it. I got it. All right. I got it going in. That kicks ass. I need to go to Harbor Frank get some tools. Jimmy crap corn and I don't get it. <sighs> Are you kidding me? I took it out, set a bit of back in. Going the wrong damn direction. Damn it. stuff on me. Now I'm getting pissed off. Damn, it's in a bad thought. Can't believe you guys made me turn it the wrong damn direction. Almost turned both of them the wrong way out. Good enough for right now. This don't even fit it. find the right print so I can zip it in a little faster. I got to paint these other two bolts off so I'll get back with you guys uh, when I get the exhaust on. You know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> Exhaust is on, baby. Ugh. Okay. I'm laying on my creeper. Good place to take a nap. <clears throat> uh, I gotta exhaust. <laughs> gotta adjust the valves. And I uh, put my push rods and everything in. Adjust the valves. Valve cover gasket. And put my breather and all that back on the top of the motor. The shroud. A wind shroud so we'll be back with you here in a minute and I gotta check something out make sure these bolts are tight on this exhaust that was just for show don't forget before you put your push rods in to put some axle grease on the ends of them oh yeah had a, had a brief interruption somebody wanted some firewood so they can have a little party tonight I'm a nice guy. Go ahead. Get it. I went out and helped him load up a few pieces. Well, we're adjusting the left tours. Getting them done here. Let's see. Put 
putting them at five hundredths of a thousandths. I mean five hundredths, thousandths of an inch. Which would be right there, baby. And then you got to hold the darn thing with something like this and tighten it up with this. That's pretty close to being loose. That's an intake. We better tighten that up just a bad bit more. I might be able to snug this down. There. Oh. Oh yeah. She feels good. Look at that. It looks loose, but it ain't because when I start turning the motor over, she'll start tightening up real fast. Let's check it right there. Oh, I can't even get it in there now. She's starting to move. There she goes. I'm going to wash my valve. See how that one pushes her open now? The intake's open. She's closing. Ugh. Now we're on the compression choke. I mean, compression. No, I guess we're on the front. We're on the exhaust stroke. Oh, there it goes. The exhaust ain't open very long. That exhaust valve don't move near. Let's see how much that moved again. There it goes. It moves about the same. Okay. <laughs> it's still got some lobe. Lobby. Okay, now we got to put the valve cover on. Mm -hmm. Let me look at something here. Does this go up here on that? Or does it go to that? That goes into the to the other cover, don't it? How's this go, Bobby? What the? Uh, what the fudge tickles am I doing? I think that's going to bolt into the housing or something. Let's put the uh, valve cover on, okay? Okay. We can do it last, probably. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm sick. Now I'm getting better. I hope I didn't get nobody sick today. I'm talking to you people. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hang out for you guys for a little bit and see what I'm doing here. Just talked a whole bunch. Didn't even have my damn camera recording. I got a little bit done today. First day being back after the... Uh, sickness I'm a little better I think I'm better anyway I've been taking antibiotics uh, I can actually walk in my garage which is sweet see my garage is a little cleaner than it used to be got an area here I had my car in here at one day working on it but we're still going to do some more work here we're getting her better but I went to get my uh Turn my form in to relicense my business for another year. I had proof of, of uh, liability insurance and all that good stuff. And I got me a fence permit in the works. We're going to fence in my lot where my equipment is. Lock her up a little bit better. We're putting up a big wooden fence. <clears throat> it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be real nice. 
I'm gonna put me up a real nice wooden fence and uh, yeah all this fence right here next to my garage I'm gonna tear it down I'm not gonna have that around my garage no more that's just gonna be open and I might put me a little lean-to on my shed here so I can uh, park my tractors underneath it <coughs> Holy mama, that hurts. But get my lean to over there. And uh, yeah. Get back to. Uh, I've been wanting a fence for 15 years anyway around this stuff, so. It's time. And then up that way, behind my fence, I'll pop it in my rock piles. And then I'll make it a lot better. It's gonna be. It's gonna change a lot. Alright, we'll see y'all later. This one here this is going to be a short one. Back at it. I'm feeling better, looking better. Damn, looking good. Anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. Lord loves a working man. And don't forget it.